It's National Ballpoint Pen Day, but I'm sure I knew that already. In 1943, the Byro brothers obtained their patent for the ballpoint pen. So I thought I'd take on the legend of the space pen. The story goes NASA spent millions of taxpayer dollars creating the perfect space pen after they realized normal pens wouldn't work in zero gravity, whereas the Soviets just used a pencil. It sounds like a great story, but unfortunately that's all it is, a story. It does hold some truth though, NASA did spend about $4,000 of taxpayer money on mechanical pencils, not pens, and it did hold some controversy at the time. NASA and the Soviet Union both used pencils during their first few missions, but pencils weren't great for space. The tips would break off and lead could get into the equipment or even an astronaut's eye, and they were flammable. In 1965, Paul Fisher and the Fisher Pen Company invented a pen that could write upside down in extreme temperatures and even underwater. They invested supposedly $1 million into what is now known as the Space Pen, with no investment from NASA. The AG7 anti-gravity Space Pen got offered to NASA. And they bought some from the company and began using it in space flights in 1967. The pens use a cartridge pressurised by nitrogen, so they don't rely on gravity to work. The ink stays nearly solid until movement turns it into a fluid. The Soviet Union also bought the pens to use on their Soyuz missions, and they're still in use today on the International Space Station. So there we have the true story of the space pen. I hope you all have a wonderful ballpoint pen day. But sometimes, all you really need is a pencil. Try to say ballpoint pen day three times fast. Ballpoint pen day, ballpoint pen day, ballpoint pen day.